Okay, uh oh, here we go with wrapping this little thing up. Um, okay, neglect signs and symptoms poor growth and weight gain or being overweight, poor hygiene, lack of clothing or supplies to meet physical needs, taking food or money without permission, hiding food and water. Poor record of school attendance, lack of appropriate attention for medical, dental, or psychological problems, or lack of, un of necessary follow-up care. Uh, parental behavior. Sometimes a parent's demeanor or behavior sends red flags about, about child abuse. Warning signs include a parent who shows little concern for the child appears unable to recognize physical or emotional distress in the child, blames the child for the problems, consistently belittles or berates the child, and describes the child with negative terms such as worthless or evil, expects the child to provide him or her with attention and care, and seems jealous of other family members getting attention from the child, uses harsh physical discipline, Demands an inappropriate level of physical and academic performance. Severely limits the child's contact with others. Offers conflicting and unconvincing explanations for a child's injuries or no explanation at all. Child health experts condemn the use of violence in any form, but some people still use corporal punishment, such as spanking, as a way of disciplining their children. Any corporal punishment may leave emotional scars, parental behaviors that cause pain, physical injury, or emotional trauma, even when done in the name of discipline, could be child abuse. It's amazing to me that, never mind, let me just keep going. If you're concerned that your child or another child has been abused, you know, blah, 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 I'm not even going there. Call the police. I'm not, I'm not even going there because, um, you know, it's really a crime to be poor in this country. And when you are poor, and some of the results of being poor is now up under the auspices of being abuse and abusive. When this country was an agriculture-based country, um, they didn't mind you letting your kids work or the little slave babies work or people working in the fields, doing sharecropping from sunup to sundown. Your children wasn't even allowed to go to school because they had to work in the fields when it benefited someone else. And today they'll tell you, if you miss too much school, he goes, you know, you in trouble. Oh, I can run up on your child and make him supremely afraid of me because of my uniform, my badge, and the all the abuse that the child has seen inflicted upon members of his society, his community, and in society in general. Shooting down men and children that look like him. And then you blame all these factors on the parents. Incredible. Incredible. Well, I just thought I'd bring that to y'all because I, you know, some of this stuff is really a fine line. But at the end of the day, in order for us to be better parents, we have to be more cognitive of what we are putting into our children. Our most precious gifts. We have to make sure that we are putting something in good so something good can come out. And it's very important. And if you don't have healthy rules, boundaries, and limitations for your kid, and society is going to present them for you and your kid. 
It's not going to be nice. It's not going to be nice at all. In fact, it's going to feel like one step removed from physical slavery, antebellum slavery, in fact. So, um, I hope I kind of cleared that up a little bit. And if I didn't, just let me know. And I'll try to do better. But with that being said, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'm going to see you shortly with another video.